Hey guys, I'm going to show you how I create some of my background. I'm going to use some mica sprays. I'm going to make some Christmas backgrounds. I'm also going to use some distressed oxide sprays. And we're going to start with these watercolor paper. And I've got, I'm going to use blue. I think I'm going to use some Lucky Clover Fire Brick. What I first have to do is I put it in my little splat box and um, I'll spray it a little. And then I'm just going to go in and colors let me show you what I got so far this is what I got and uh, now I'm gonna use my heat tool to um, Set it to set the color. So I'm going to go in and use my heat tool, make it run. So use my I'll try to get some of that color out. Now I'm gonna use my splat box again and uh, add some more color. I'm gonna use my fire brick. some fire brick on that. Then I think I'm gonna, I think I'm actually gonna go in and put some candy apple. I got some candy apple. I'm gonna do that and see if that brings out some more color in, into it. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, yes. Look at that. Definitely did that. I'm gonna kind of... Oops. I don't want that on there, but that's fine. making it. I'm trying to make some Christmas colored backgrounds. I might use this for a birthday card. I kind of would like to have it green. More of a greeny color. So now I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go in and spray some mica. I got holly I'm going to shake it a little bit. Give it a shake. Got a shake. Oh, this one I haven't even used yet. Oh, so this will look good. I haven't used this one. I love my mica sprays. Um, they're very... I love the mica sprays. And he only came out with them... Tim Holtz only came out with them 
He came out with like, I think six at Halloween and six at Christmas time. And I don't know if he's going to come out with any more. I know you can't get them. I know you can't buy them now unless you can get them on eBay where somebody bought like a lot of them and they're reselling them or something. But Or somebody doesn't like them and they're selling them. I don't know. All right, let's see. I got it, I think. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. And then you gotta wipe it off so that doesn't stick. There's that. <laughs> Mike gives it a little bit of a different it kind of makes it shiny. And um, I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's definitely shiny. I don't know, I kind of like it. Okay, so there's my first card back backdrop. So let's see, we'll make another one. Now with this one, we're going to do something different. I think we're just going to use blues. We might go with blues this time. And you know what? We might just do... I'm going to take this, put it here. This one is called Stormy Sky. This one is speckled egg. I'm gonna put that one there. And then what I'm gonna do is spray it with a little bit of water. Take your finger kind of through it. And then we are going to pop it down, pop it up, kind of let it run around there. on there. Let's see if I can get some more texture. to go in the dirty laundry. All right, now what I think I'm going to do, I got a little bit of blue on there. I might. Now I'm going to take it into my splat box. See what I can do. Oh yeah, there we go. That looks cool. That looks cool. Look at that. So there we go. Then what I'm going to do is spray it, let it do its wonders. Take my rag and kind of pop some of that. Oops. I must have some brown on my hands. Kind of dry through the back, through the front. What I think I 
might try it again. Do some more water. I don't know. You just gotta play with this, really. Distressed oxides, you just play with. And create all kinds of different colored card stuff. Um, Don't worry about your paper. Uh, you can always flatten it out. Now what I think I'm gonna do is, I have this Snow Flurries Mica Spray. So I think I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it on this. Gotta make sure it's all mixed up. That's not too bad. All right, so. I'll show you what it looks like after I spray the mica on it. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Look at that. Look at that. It really brightens it up. And then you know what? I'm just going to kind of get the big I'm going to try it a little. Now that's kind of pretty. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Got to let it finish drying. And, uh, Could even if I wanted to. Mm, no, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I really like that. I really like that. It's not bad at all. It's a nice little Christmassy. See that? There they are. Two panels I made. The mica sprays. They're both totally different. And we'll see about making another one. Made them with the mica spray and the distressed ink. I'm gonna try to make some more. I'm gonna try. Remember, family forever. Stay positive and enjoy life.